concept of reinforced concrete. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to describe the evolution of reinforced concrete, explain the basic concepts of reinforced concrete, list few applications of reinforced concrete. Missy was a beautiful kingdom with all resources and wealth. People in the kingdom had a happy and a peaceful life as they had everything they required. One day, the army general received a message from his opponent, Tahi, calling for a war. Tahi was a kingdom with less manpower but were well equipped with advanced weapons. The general of Messi anticipated that they could easily defeat Tahi with their manpower. On the big day, Tahi and Messi began their battle. Initially, Messi was able to combat Tahi with their conventional resources. However, when Tahi began to use modern equipment, the fear of defeat began to suppress the soldiers of Messi. Due to the lack of modern equipment, Messi struggled to fight back. Immediately, the army general passed a message to the neighboring country, requesting for reinforcement and power. The neighboring country accepted to send the reinforcement. The moment Messi received the reinforcement, their confidence grew and the troops plunged on Tahi. Finally, Messi won the battle. Although Messi was strong enough with manpower, their success was due to the reinforcement they received from the neighboring country. Now, you can compare concrete to Messi's power. The strength of Messi doubled by the reinforcement they received. Likewise, if concrete is reinforced, its strength doubles. Together, they make a powerful material called reinforced concrete. Let us learn about reinforced concrete in detail. We would have heard this often that concrete is strong in compression and weak in tension. To counterbalance this weakness in tension, steel bars are generally provided in the tension zone of concrete. This provides extra strength to the concrete to withstand the tensile stresses. The history of concrete goes back to the beginning of human civilization in the ancient times. But it wasn't until the recent centuries that man began to reinforce concrete with steel bars. Let us discuss about some of the brilliant brains who supported in the innovation of reinforced concrete. In 1848, John Louis Lambert from France was the first person to use iron bars and wire mesh to reinforce the concrete lined row boats. Later, in 1854, William B. Wilkinson used iron bars to reinforce the concrete floors of a two-story cottage. Francois Coinet was a 19th century French industrialist. He was the first person to use reinforced concrete in large-scale construction. And also, he published a book describing the applications and uses of reinforced concrete. In 1889, Yozo Mihailich was credited for designing the first arc bridge using reinforced concrete. The bridge was constructed in the village of Salt, Hungary. World's oldest concrete street in Bellefontaine, United States, was constructed by George Bartholomews in the year 1891. The street is still there today. Early 20th century witnessed significant improvements in the development and the use of reinforced concrete. It started with the design rules proposed by French Commission on Reinforced Concrete. Later, in 1909, professional societies like American Concrete Institute and American Society of Civil Engineers introduced the first joint code for reinforced concrete. At present, we are using IS-456-2000 to design reinforced concrete structures. Working stress and limit state method of design are the most commonly used methods for designing the reinforced concrete. Earlier, working stress method was used in designing the reinforced concrete structures. However, due to a few discrepancies in calculating ultimate load and stresses, limit state design was developed to overcome the associated disadvantages. The main objective of reinforced concrete structural design is to provide adequate strength, durability, serviceability and resistance to acid and corrosion attack. The design structural element should be able to satisfy the criteria of desired ultimate strength, tension, 
shear, compression and flexure developed in the concrete during various loading conditions. Applications of reinforced concrete are based on its strength, versatility, adaptability, durability and resistance to fire and corrosion. Reinforced concrete is the apt material for building construction. Most of the bridges constructed in the recent times are constructed using reinforced concrete than steel as it is aesthetically superior and economical. Water retaining structures like dams and water tanks are constructed using reinforced concrete because of its resistance to corrosion. In recent trend, most of the steel poles for power transmission are replaced with reinforced concrete poles because of its ease in maintenance. In today's scenario, reinforced concrete is the breadth for construction industry. The artistic capability of reinforced concrete is so fantastic and that is the way to go. Summary Reinforced concrete is the combination of concrete and steel bars. These steel bars are provided in the tension zone of concrete to counterbalance the weakness in tension. Reinforced concrete construction is almost used in every type of structures like buildings, bridges, water retaining structures, etc.